Centaur folding scooter. Okay, here's something you don't see much. This is a Moto Marini Excalibur. They were 500 cc's. Uh, I'm going to post it on YouTube if you want to yell your phone number. to Osa Flat Tracker. I had a bunch of these. Model 68, 250 per sang. That's a 650. Oh, why am I looking at this? Sixty eight, six fifty motor and a seventy one frame. So I guess you'd call that a TR six T. <laughs> That's a joke. That's interesting. SL two fifty Thunderdog. Now we saw a white one. This is the color I remember them being. Rare, only 1800 produced, 4800 bucks for trade. Well, then I sold mine too cheap. And we have a Rickman Matisse. And that's a 650 shoved in there. Looks like he races it because it's all safety wires. That's the adjuster for the chain. They're in the swing arm. That's pretty sweet. Oh, you know what? We have to go outside because there's stuff for sale here. everything and you almost have to the other thing that I like is that's the parking I didn't have to pay a separate parking pass to park up there I have a vendor stop spot and I just parked there very laid back a whole lot more friendly than barber and man You'd throw rocks at Daytona. That place is downright mean. Let's check out this Yamaha IT something. Twenty-two 
25Y on the motor. So that'll, you can look that up to see what size it is. I don't know. Honda Elite. I guess I'm looking at those because I'm tired of walking, folks. But even a clapped out pit bike is too much. This is where we should take pit bikes for sale. Beta cross trainer. CL 110 Super Sport. Current Florida registration 1850. I'm thinking this is a rare bike. I mean, we know what a Honda a Hodaka 125 is but I've never seen one squared off. I mean, I've seen the green road toad. This must have a name. Sorry, get a hold of Bob Zinni and rob him. Here's a Greaves. With the banana frame front loop. Here's more stuff. Greaves and Montessa. Huh. Yeah, I got some weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oddities. And a BSA A10. A little bit of everything there. Nelly Montgomery Wards. for 4.0 by 19 trails type tire I guess or they could settle for 18 maybe no price no price that's cute Not sure what it is, but it's cute. I don't know if somebody made that out of a GT80 or that's factory. I have no idea. Centaur folding scooter. I don't know if that's a hinge or what. Must be, because there's the strut. Made by Flexible Flyer. That's a joke. Nice orange and white. Uh, 
there's a clapped out can of tuna. I don't know what I'd do with that. Baby TY. The TY80. All of these manufacturers made small trials bikes. Tri cart. Uh, is that made by Sperry? I'm not sure. Yep, Sperry Rand. Now look at this. All Mako stuff. That's gonna make some people drool. Wheel hubs. I'm assuming that's the phone number for this stand. How about a 66305 Supra Hawk project for $1,200? With the title. Poop Brown CD750. I want to see this Moto Guzzi. Oh, it looks like his rider. Smart man. CL 175 with title, $1,100. Come on, folks. In this day where Vermont has closed its loophole, that's a good price to have the title with. Anybody heard of that place? Hellerding? River City. There's a big Suzuki sign over there. The giant Kawasaki sign. They're just too big to handle. Oh, I have to say it again. Another freaking Osa. I think I'm about clapped out on Osas. Here's a Sunday flat tracker. I've probably seen some use. Somebody put a oil cooler on it. Oh, here's that beautiful super pioneer that we saw yesterday. Now, I was just downing on Osis. This is my favorite one. Now they call it a six days, I don't know. Super Pioneer, yep. Yeah. I could buy that. Oh, pain, the pain. Matching numbers. The numbers start with Nothing. A Carabella and a Solex. And that Carabella looks like it has a Moto Beta motor in it. And the Makuni carb. Maybe it ran recently. And that's not a Stornello. I don't think I ever saw a two stroke Moto Guzzi. What is that? Looks like a Benelli, but what's that crazy fan shroud on it? 
Alright. Is it a Rex? It is a Rex. Those are Italian. Okay, here's something you don't see much. This is a Moto Marini Excalibur. They were 500 cc's. I bought one from Hermes in Port Clinton once when he was a dealer. There should be a sort of a plastic chrome side cover there. 500 cc's, their cruiser, Pennsylvania title. So obviously it came from Hermes. I don't know where you'd find side covers. Wow. 1200 bucks. I might have to get the guy's phone number and save it. Here's a gaggle of moto comps. I think these are, are do the handlebars fold down? I'm not sure. Somebody obviously imported them. Because there's your JDM trucks. Oh, what's this thing? It says the coolest DR500 you've ever seen. I don't know, but I'm liking the motor goozy behind it. on the color <laughs> and I'm not understanding this thing oh it's a leaner look the bike leans and the sidecar stays straight So I don't know if I saw these bull tacos here. Looks like a Fonterra, a Sherpa, and a, well no, that's a Matador. That's not a Persang. Fifteen hundred bucks with title. Two thousand. Okay, so what they're doing is they're marking the prices down because they're winding up. Some of them are leaving today. Others will leave tomorrow. How about a mint green TW two hundred? They made these such a long time but I've never seen one in mint green. Norton P11. Holy cow, $17,000. Well, I guess. I'm going to post it on YouTube if you want to yell your phone number uh, and say anything about it. Uh, yeah, well, it's a completely restored uh, 1968 Norton P11A Ranger, and um, it's got 41 miles on it. So here's my question. This is what yeah. I wasn't sure about. Okay. Yeah. Is that where the ignition switch normally is? Yeah, it is. I wasn't sure. So you wire tied the keys there? I did, just so nobody could walk out uh, with my keys. Okay. Yep. So what kind of air box would this have had? Like a Norton air box? A yep. little... Yeah, it's uh, about about this big. But not like a Commando, separate not too, for this. Not too different than the Commando. Yeah, but, all but it's different. Yeah, it's for this bike. Right. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure. They're very hard to find. but uh, And it's got a Harley coil, much better than the Lucas coil. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah. But uh, 
Yeah. Anyway, you want my phone number, right? Well, if you say it, it'll be on there. All right. Unless 810 you don't. 305 4321. 810 305 4321. 4321. Okay. Randy. I I post these. I just walk around and I post them. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll turn it off. Hey, Dave. Uh, this is the guy from Florida also. How are you, man? Hi. Pete. Pete. Hey, man, buddy. Hi, this is the guy, if you remember, in New Smyrna, he had all the NOS gas tanks. He's up here in Florida. Us Florida boys get around. We sure do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he always has a lot of NOS Japanese stuff. Seventy-three SC five hundred. Oh, I bet you that's a ripper. Boost bottle there too. You saw that, right? Yeah, I don't think that. Also, yeah. And an MX three sixty. And that's Florida Pete. But I came down here to look at this. Oh no. I can do that. Uh oh. Oh, and it's next to a taco. Astro. What number? Eighty-six. Okay. So that's a a Persang frame and a one twenty-three first year Astro three fifty motor. Well, I got a green Moto Marini. I gotta go to the truck and get him some cash. So, stay tuned for a Marini video.